Hi guys, welcome back to the bench. And, and I wasn't actually going to make a video about this because I kind of thought it might have been a bit of a lost cause. Unfortunately, somebody put 24 volts in here, but it is a 12 volt center positive input next to the power switch. And you can see I've already removed some screws from the uh, bottom as well um, because I've actually uh, just had a quick investigation and I thought I'd show you what I found. So the first thing you need to do is uh, this is like a little lift clip that comes up um, vertically and then that slides out that ribbon cable and then this top panel can come off. And now you can see the DSP board. There's some screws missing because I've already had this apart but um, I'll just show you what, how you take it apart. Uh, th this ribbon connector here has an FCP connector so you have to lift this flap up to uh, release the cable and then that just slides out easily. Uh, I'll just take out these two screws I put back in. And spoiler alert, I did actually check what happens when you plug in the DC, but we'll get to that. So you take out all the screws. There's a couple in the corners. And there's this one here you have to take out as well. You can leave the one on the other side. And once all those screws are out, we can take out the DSP board. And good idea to ground yourself before you do this. I ground myself to earth. And there we're left with the analog board. And here you can see this is the actual where the DC comes in. And I um, instantly I could get a short between the tip of the DC plug and earth. So looking at the circuit, the DC comes first to this LM2941CS, a voltage regulator. So it's no surprise that I was measuring a short between the ground and the input voltage of this IC. I managed to lift those two pins up and there was no short on the regulator, but there's still short on the board. So I went around hunting for any shorts previous and I found this diode here had gone short. So um, that was definitely our culprit. I whipped it out and the short disappeared. Um, and there was no more shorts on this chip here. So I bend the legs back down and resoldered them. There's handy test points for all the voltage stages. So I plugged the DC in as is and measured them. 3.3 volt valve was measuring five volts, but that had no load on it. And I imagine this DSP board to be quite hefty. So I think I'll risk it for a biscuit and we'll plug it back in and see what happens. So at the moment of truth, let's just plug it in and turn it on and we'll see if uh, any of it comes back to life. Uh, I've got high hopes, so we'll just turn it on. Oh, dramatic pause. Oh, relays. Okay, that's a really good sign. That means that the uh, circuitry that's driving the uh, control panel isn't fried. So with that diode being short, all the angry pixies were going back down to the power supply and not getting a chance to reach the rest of the circuit. So I'll reach out to Universal Audio and see if I can get the actual part number and get this replaced properly because it's a bit unprotected at the moment. And... As you can see, that diode is short. Seems like a verse polarity protection diode. And so this is me from the future, and I can confirm that it connected to a computer and everything seemed to work to right. So hopefully Universal Audio support right to repair and will give me the part number that I need to uh, protect this Apollo Twin again. Catch you next time. Inside, we find a tranquil motion Coming, you are with me. Our face, our body, life's creation. You are making me. We are making God.